Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we gotta talk about Icon Swaps 2, because it is bad, alright? Just what is going on in this game right now is not good either. A lot of mix-ups from EA, a lot of mess-ups, um, problems with upgrading players, it's, it's ridiculous. But, we're not gonna be all negative in this video today, we're gonna be positive as well, because uh, we do have content in FIFA that is grindable. Even though it's not the best or as good as we want it to be, uh, we are going to stay positive because it's just not, it's, it's not, it, there's no use in being super duper negative. So we're not going to complain too much today. We got Road to the Final Upgrade. There were some issues with that. And we also had the new Icon Moments cards in packs. I want to talk through Icon Swaps, like the best value in my opinion and why it is bad. Uh, but then also talk about the market because we made a lot of coins today and that is something to be very happy about. There was plenty of opportunities and still ongoing to make coins today as well as a potentially leaked SBC that could be coming out on Saturday uh, in this game as well. So let's start off with the bad, right? The good, bad, and the ugly. Let's actually start off with the ugly. And I think what that is is the player selection from Icons Swaps. The actual Icon player selection so as we saw yesterday, we had the two new packs here added into the code. Those are two and three swap tokens apiece. We do have Moments Deco as a seven op a seven uh, swap option card. This is not honestly too bad. Four star skill moves. It's you know what if you're going between this Deco and the base icon pack with your leftover swaps tokens after you take these first three packs i would go with deco you're getting a guaranteed icon moments card not too shabby in my opinion right you got ashley cole okay nine swaps or over mars okay 11 swaps middle blanc for 13 swaps if this was prime blanc i would say hey maybe it's, this is legit but middle blanc for 13 swaps this card to me is not worth as much as this over mars the moments version versus a you know a French center back that we just had two released with very similar stats that were a lot cheaper and a lot less time to grind. So there is the 91 plus icon pack, the prime icon pack, and the prime or moments pack, which I think a lot of people, if you're not doing one of the first three, you're gonna grind for this icon, prime, or moments pack. And then here at the end, we have 17 tokens for Roberto Baggio. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, that is obviously a nice combination. Medium low work rates is not the best. His card is decent though, right? If you're a Baggio fan or if you wanna grind all the tokens and get this card, be my guest, go for it. This is the one that does not make sense. Uh, 15 swap tokens for Bucho Gueno. Uh, this should have been like, this should have been like baby um, Maradona or baby, I don't know, like a high tier baby card. Uh, Bucho Gueno is good, but I don't think he's high tier. Um, so in my opinion, right? The thing about this icon swaps that make it makes it the biggest L, and this is why I'm saying icon swaps is bad, mostly is because of a couple of those selections, but also the timeline. So there are nine swap tokens that are right now until March 26th, right? Until March 26th. That means over a month, you have to do the nine swap tokens. That means you can't get anybody in here. You can't get all your tokens done within a month's time frame. You can't even get to Baggio before basically like the, the beginning of April is when you'll be able to get Baggio or your primer icon moments packs. And also this whole icon swaps runs from February 19th to May 7th, May 7th. That is so far, that's team of the season. That's how far away it is until we get a new set of icon swaps and EA can potentially redeem themselves from this one. That's why I think the biggest, that's the biggest L I think from this icon swaps is that May 7th, that takes a long time. So if I am if I end up grinding all the swap tokens, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take from the first set of the first nine swaps, I'm going to take the 82 times 25 and the 83 times 25, and I'm going to open those during a promo in the next month or so, right? Foot birthday is upcoming, possibly shapeshifters, maybe carnival, who knows, right? I'm probably going to open these two packs during either of those promos after I do get the swaps. And then with my leftover tokens, get the 81 times 25 and possibly deco if I end up grinding all tokens. Because here's the thing. This is 75 players you can put in your club right here, all 81 and above, with a lot of them being 83s, 84s, 85s that you will get from these packs. I opened a couple 81 plus 25 packs today on stream, and there was, you know, five or six 83s, a couple 84s, and an 85. Those are the, the first two that we opened had a lot of those players in it and an inform in both of those packs as well. So, honestly, I'm going to be going with these three packs and then probably getting Deco. Of course, you know, the Portuguese links is FIFA. This car would help out a lot of teams for squad building and linking 
a lot. Even though it's not the most meta card and ridiculous card ever, I think that's a decent card for seven swap tokens, an icon moments card. So that's what I'm going to be taking. Now, if you feel particularly a certain way about going after one of these packs inside of the, in the, the as a token, I'm not sure about the 91 plus prime icon. Not a huge fan of that one. If you're going to grind all 18 swaps, you should probably go for this primer moments pack or get the Baggio. But honestly, I would still go for the primer moments pack and take the gamble. So that's why I think icon swaps was kind of an L. We got a pack supply SBC and then a icon moments kit or some sort of kit SBC today as well. That was basically the content in there. Uh, and then we also had the prime icon moments in packs. Now, the interesting thing about these icon moments cards that are in packs, they only put 34 of them out. So what happens is, honestly, it could turn into a three-week spell where we have one week with 34, one week with 33, and a third week. It might take them three weeks to put all these icon moments into packs, unless they drop 66 next week into packs, um, because 34, obviously, out of 100 icons. Um, actually, there might be 101 with, with Beckham, or, or maybe not. I'm not sure. But I think there's 100 icons in FIFA 21, so it looks like it might be three more weeks or two more weeks after this one until we get the full release of all the icon moments but they did release some of them today a couple of these guys got massive upgrades with uh viera being the biggest upgrade out of all of those like in terms of just a cracked out looking card from his prime he got plus six place pace plus six shot and then plus two and all the other statistics this card looks absolutely mental uh, del piero and some other cards got some um work rate changes which is kind of cool there weren't really any position changes except for eusebio um Clivert got a weak foot i think and no skill i don't know if there's any skill move updates um but no lightning rounds today so ea kind of played that really well honestly if they were trying to prohibit people from trading with these brand new icons today um these guys are fluctuating a little bit but i think most people that are trying to trade with them are actually losing coins because uh they're just not getting packed like at all on the market because there's there's not too much supply now this hero has got some listings now overnight at the one six range which is interesting but um you know so care these guys are still really expensive a lot of people aren't even buying them to try them out just because they're that expensive but speaking of icons speaking of icons so that was basically all of our content that we got yesterday really slow day and honestly the biggest story was the lack of content um we didn't get winter upgrades we did not get winter refresh and um, that was kind of one thing that I, I think a lot of us were excited for, right? You have guys like Cavani, Balotelli, Gutza, and a couple other players that have been added to the into the game, right? Into the code, and they are not actually in packs right now. So there's still something that EA have up their sleeve. Possibly next week, we'll see the winter refresh and the winter upgrades. Supposedly, EA added more upgrades today into the database, like Gundawan, who was not supposed to get one before, but now in head-to-head, -head, he is. So that happened today. Uh, and as well as we got Road to the Final boosts on some of these cards. And honestly, um, they happened late night tonight. And I think a lot of people just forgot how cracked out this Akanji card was going to be because he is right now extinct at 410,000 coins after getting a plus two upgrade. This card looks unbelievable, right? He's on par with Oop Makano, who is also 400k. This guy was like 310k right when he got upgraded, um, and when these guys got upgraded tonight. So uh, Wijnaldum got upgraded, of course. I think he is up like 30,000 coins or so in price. So if you got any got in on any moves there, that was a GG because he's this guy's up a little bit going to 88 rated. I wish they would have given him 80 pace, but they didn't. Now, here's the issue. One of the issues we had with EA tonight is EA actually messed up Julian Brandt's ones to watch item. What happened was this 87 Brandt wants to watch uh, a road to the final. Sorry, not wants to watch. They upgraded his UCL card instead. So people started going on the market and they started seeing a Champions League version of Brandt being 88 rated. And now you can see he's extinct on the market because the price range didn't change. But EA upgraded the wrong card. They made his UCL item 88 rated instead of the road to the final, which was ridiculous. Obviously very funny and uh, just kind of caps off on how all the little mistakes that EA has been making over the past day or so. Like one one big mistake is this this kind of viral image right here. This is actually an image of Del Piero, right? So it's not even Del Piero that they put in. Now, and of course, some people have been doing some recon work on some of these brand new um, brand new items like the, the icon moments and the images that EA has picked don't match up 
with the actual moment in their career that they are giving the boost for. So I understand that, you know, maybe EA couldn't get a picture for that or whatever, but there were some issues with that. Uh, it just, I think a lot of people were very upset with the content today on FIFA, but there are some things that we did today that were very, very good. We made some coins today, man. There was a lot of coins to be made. There was a lot of panic selling on the market. And I want to show you specifically, it was with icons, right? Icons got massively panic sold on Friday morning. It was crazy. Babies, middles, primes, the whole gamut of icons were getting panic sold. If you bought before 6 p.m. UK and it was a card that did not get into icon swaps, you made bank, right? You made bank. Uh, I bought a prime Stoikov for 1.3 mil right before the content, 1.32 mil right before the content drop, and he rebounded big time up to like 1.55. I sold mine at 1.52. But icons in general absolutely boomed today on an initial panic sell and then a rise after that. The rest of the market is kind of chilling. Um, not a ton of stuff really rebounded up. But, um, some of the high tier meta cards, I bought this at 116, sold it at 1257. That was a nice flip right there. And I still have my promos and I bought it at 240. I got a couple of them. Uh, so a lot of this market right now is just chilling though. And especially with the lack of content today, as we move into talking about what could happen to the rest of this weekend, um, I do think there is going to be a decent amount, if not a lot of sell off this weekend, because uh, people might just be getting their coins. And I think just the the hype and the um, just what people want to do on FIFA right now is not, the, they don't want to have their big team with their coins and play weekend league and stuff like that. What people want to do on FIFA right now is grind icon swaps and you don't really need a team to do that. So I do think there is going to be a decent amount of sell out this weekend. And especially if EA continue to put out SBCs, which we have one leaked SBC player that has been added to the code. This randomly showed up on Footbin tonight. So watch out for this SBC today. That is a flashback Tony Cruz. Now this is the card they have given him five star weak foot. They given him a, they have given him a massive boost in pace, 24 pace from his gold card, eight shot, four pass, seven physical, five defense, and seven dribbling. Now this is a very cool SBC, and people have already started to buy SBC fodder and links to this player because of this. But we just don't know how much it's going to be priced, right? We don't know how much it's going to be priced. Of course, uh, what was it in? Um, FIFA 19, we had an SBC for Tony Cruz, like a team of the group stage one. That was like it was a really, really, really good value SBC. It was like 100,000 coins for this 91 rated item. Now, this is a 93. I honestly don't expect this SBC to be any cheaper than 350K. And if EA do that, um, I would be kind of surprised because fodder is still expensive. And sometimes the way that EA values SBCs is by fodder being lower. For whatever reason, they value like, oh yeah, this should be this should be, you know, an 85, 86, and an 87 rated SBC or whatever. But right now, with how expensive these cards are in the market to, to do SBCs, this guy might be pretty expensive today. So this might be our SBC content for today on Saturday. Um, but it was leaked. So it kind of has just not that much of, uh, of an effect. But kind of scrolling down, these are all the tweets that we had today, right? It's just a lot of negativity, right? Icon Swaps 2 is out till May 7th. It'll basically be tots until we get another set of Icon Swaps. A lot of people were upset about that. Um, and, you know, I'm making some some stabs at uh, this cruise card. We got the road to the final upgrades and, then of course, the uh, the brand issue as well. So it feels like all we've been doing right now is kind of like hating on EA. But EA seems to be kind of down bad, honestly. It just it does not seem to be a very good time on the on the market and on the game. And I, I just feel like there's not a lot of hype and it's just not a lot of people want to be playing this game right now but if you are looking around the market i will say it is a pretty good week in the trade because i'm looking at a lot of these icons since they fluctuated so much and a lot of them bounced back up from where they were being crazy low earlier today i mean you can see some of these cards that i've added to my transfer targets baby garincha was 1.55 1.6 mil this guy was 1.8 mil when he bounced back up really high tonight middle butrogueno was 1.2 he bounced back to 1.4 um, baby middle lime was 1.23 bounced all the way back to 1.4 mil. Some of these icons like middle icons that went out of packs now are going to act like the babies they are going to be great to trade with. One other thing that you had to keep an eye on today was players like this informed to Felix. People were buying him up because of a potential winner upgrade. He didn't get upgraded. So we got kind of panic listed and dropped back down in price after the, the content dropped today. 
So one thing I will say is keep an eye on these future stars because if they drop down during the weekly sell-off, these are still brand new cards that a lot of people want to try on their teams. And you did see some of these, these prices bounce back up today. Kulusevsky, 513. Barnes was 420 earlier uh, on Friday with, with the, the little bit of panic selling heading into the content drop. He rebounded all the way to 400, almost 500,000 coins, 480 to 500. So all I would say is, I do feel like the market is going to be dropping down. Team of the year cards were kind of lowest that they had ever been today. Uh, Lewandowski was two mil flat at one point this morning. So just keep an eye on the panic selling on a lot of these special cards and on the market this weekend because, again, in my opinion, I think the market's really going to drop off and there's going to be some areas where you, where you will be able to profit. But I think the market's going to drop off pretty heavily on the out-of-pack specials on some of the gold cards as well. Like we take a look at, um, you know, like Gold Neymar, 783, Mbappe, 969. These guys are still kind of high in price. I expect a lot of the market to just kind of slump off after this week because of, A, the game losing hype because of icon swaps being not so good and there's no, like, new promo in sight. And, B, everything that everybody's grinding right now is objectives, right? I mean, there's no cards and packs that you're really trying to grind for. It's all about the icon swaps and it's all about getting those done um, or, you know, working your way for season progress or you're working your way on the um, objective players as well. So I, I just wanted to say to that, I do feel like the market is going to be sold off a little bit this weekend. And we'll talk about some areas tomorrow uh, where you might be able to catch some weekend league sell-off and make some profit from that. But as I pointed out, the road to the final cards, these are going to continue to fluctuate. You know, one thought I had is tonight Rashford actually exploded up in price. He was like 1.25, 1.3 mil, and he exploded up to like 1.5. I'm not entirely sure what happened here. He did not get an upgrade, of course, because it's a Europa League item. So I wonder if, if people saw cards getting upgraded and they went out and the bought this one or if this one is just really rare. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this one here, but um, I wonder if Pogba went up too. This is kind of where I'm watching right now on just, you know, a, a, any card that is not an icon. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on some of these road to the finals. Yeah, this Pogba guy is up too, 748. So I'm not entirely sure what happened with the Man U RTTFs. I don't know if somebody said, hey, go buy them because they, they haven't really risen that much after they did get their win. But that's just kind of the way the market is at the moment. It is pretty rare. It's great for fluctuation trading. Uh, icons are, specific, are specifically good to trade. Um, but we're keeping an eye on just everything related to a sell-off this weekend because I, I just feel like the hype is just not there right now in this game. So I will say this. Let me know down below in the comments what swaps you guys are wanting to go for. I am curious to know that. And if you have made coins flipping and trading any of these Prime Icon moments, uh, let me know about that too. 1.95 for Barnes. Some of these guys might you know, go up in price a little bit into the day on Saturday if they have any supply, if people actually want to try them out. So if a card is kind of dipped down from where it was at the first part of the day yesterday, like if I saw this Paul Scholes at like 1.2 mil, I would buy it because I've seen it sell at 1.4. This Puyol, like if I saw him at like 1.4 or 1.5, like a pretty big undercut, I would feel okay about snagging it. I would just say, since there was like a, not a lot of supply and a lot of those icons are being are staying very expensive, um, it's just not a really good... Uh, the opportunities in the windows to flip those are few and far between. So I would stick to trying to flip cards like this Vardy, other icons, you know, like, you know, meta ones like this, um, this kind of right? Wow. He's actually really low. He was 1.2 mil earlier. He's down to 1.11 right there. That's a pretty big undercut actually, where you might be able to get a sale at like 1.2 overnight. So that might be like sort of a flippable icon even at the moment, but just keep an eye on that sort of stuff. And we'll talk about stuff to watch in the weekly sell off as that does approach, because I do think it is going to be pretty serious this weekend into tonight, Saturday, and into tomorrow on Sunday. So yeah, man, I don't know what you guys think about icon swaps. Let me know down below, of course, and how you're feeling about icon moments and what is going on in FIFA at the moment. There's a lot to grind objective-wise, but um, you know, other than that, we just came out of a huge pack grind promo, and that has kind of been taken away from us. And I think people enjoy that more than they enjoy swap. So let me know down below how you're feeling. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the like if you enjoyed it. And it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.